Huh? I, I think it's going to be able to safely touch down on the runway, right? There we go. Landing coming up. And it's now going to pull up for Flare. Now, if you are a millionaire and you're looking for an airplane to fly your family around with, then the Cirrus Vision Jet is probably a very good candidate. Yes, look at my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 family. It's not very big yet, but you can carry around six passengers with quite a lot of space. Although you have to kind of make sure that you have a very thin wife because the Cirrus Vision Jet is not very performant -y. I mean, okay, you own the Cirrus Vision Jet, so you probably do have a thin wife anyway. I mean, I lost a race in this airplane because it's not necessarily fast. Where's the champagne? But that's not really the biggest consideration when buying an airplane for your family. It is safety. And this airplane is probably the safest airplane that you can buy. Not only do you have the big parachute, the so-called CAPS, the Cirrus airframe parachute system. In the small Cirrus propeller airplanes, we also have these parachutes and they've saved lots of lives and engine failures and will make sure your airplane, you know, glides down to the ground safely if something happens. Problem is when you do that, your airplane is totaled. So for example, in a scenario where you as a pilot pass out, go to sleep, your family can utilize the safe return feature by Garmin. Now this was introduced like eight years ago and I've always wanted to test it. You can press this red button, the airplane, you know, takes over communications with ATC and lands itself, which is something that for the first time ever is actually simulated in a flight simulator. Today, we will test out that very feature. Let's take this airplane for a bit of a test spin. The beautiful Cirrus Vision Jet. All right, okay, its beauty can be discussed. Some people might say that it looks like with a dolphin, but it's lacking a few chromosomes. Let's go ahead and remove the engine covers and generally take this for a spin. It's just the also the pito cover, of course. Let's remove that. Something I'm a very big fan of is the Cirrus Vision Jet's simplicity. So you just turn on the batteries, you put the engine knob to run and start the engine like this. Engine button. There you go. And that's how the engine turns on. I've even said before that everyone is able to fly this airplane. Well, not everyone. A bit more power. And... You might be able to even somewhat teach your passengers how to fly this airplane because it's so simple. Anyway, let's go and remove the important cap safety pin, very important, and also remove the safety pin of the emergency exit, which we also have. And our airplane is already ready to go. That was no time whatsoever. Let's go and take off now. I think in the flight simulator, this airplane actually has pretty decent performance, but in real life, I've always found it uh, use a bit of runway. Ah, there's a deer. There is a deer on the runway. There is a, we've run over a deer. That's not part of the protocol. What a bad takeoff. Anyway, let's go ahead and genuinely rotate now. Put that landing gear up and turn on autopilot. Ah, and yet this plane is very simple to fly, which makes it very safe. And I get that. This is kind of like a flying Tesla. All as well. We're very, very fast actually at this point. So that is great. But something I'm going to do now is do... Wait, hold on. I'm going to do this. All right, that's the joystick gone for us. Auto land. Oh no, my family member's passed out who's flying the airplane. Safe return. Okay. Okay, we've got this camera view. Interesting. We are only seeing the airplane from a tail perspective for some reason. Uh, uh, let's try to get back into the cockpit. Come on. Oh, come on. I really wanted to test this out for the first time. Okay, this is not going as planned. Anyway, we have the emergency auto land now on. For some reason, the Microsoft Flight Simulator kind of breaks. And we have a bit of, you know, instructions on what to do for the passengers. For example, here we have a screen that tells us when to pull the parachute. For example, there is an equipment failure. So stuff like that. And, you know, everyone should be able to pull that. Oh, come on, camera. Our airplane is supposed to now do in a computer voice. Talk to ATC. And it says emergency auto land failed. No airport found. Well, that's very safe. I wouldn't want to pull the parachute here above the ocean. God damn it. We need to find an airport that I guess has instrument landing systems. So what I'm going to do now is actually just slew mode ourselves above the mainland California. And here our airplane should be able to find airports where the airplane can actually land itself. It's true. I mean, it's quite expected. The airplane won't be able to land itself on like your regional airport, but rather a big international airport. And I think you can afford the high landing fees. All right, now we are kind of at 5,000 feet above the Los Angeles region. All is fine. We're kind of hand flying the airplane right now. And imagine I pass out now. I feel quite a bit strange. Uh, something, something's wrong here. 
I would instruct my passengers that if that happened, they would have to press the level mode on the autopilot, which immediately brings the airplane to a level flying, a smooth flying. That's always the first good step. And then they would have to press the emergency auto land, this safe return. And we have a light that comes up and says here, I guess that stands for landing. Let's see what the airplane's gonna be up to now. Emergency auto land failed, no, no airport found. What? Hello? There's literally a huge Los Angeles International Airport in front of us. You massive idiot. Maybe this will work out better if we actually plan a whole flight from Washington, Dallas to Richmond in, in Virginia. All right, let's reattempt this. We've just climbed here out of Washington, Dallas. And now, boom, auto land. So activating. All right, that's good. Emergency auto land shows up and it's probably going to stop climbing right now. There we no airport found. Huh? So, I mean, what's that going to do now? I mean, look, there's airports all over the place. Let's try to set it up again. Come on. Uh, emergency auto land activation. I think now it's working. Now it's working. Now it's working. There we go. Landing in 23 minutes. Like exactly what I want. Turning right now and we're going to be descending in 14 minutes. We have an airport here. We're going to be landing to. It doesn't quite fit our flight plan, but this is absolutely fine. Look at that. Landing in 25 minutes now. And this is definitely made for the biggest idiots. They know where they're going to be landing. I guess in real life, the airplane would now talk to ATC. That's not, you know, simulated. It just doesn't talk. So just think that cancel flight following and requesting diversion. And it says no action required. I actually feel very safe now because this airplane has full auto throttle as well. It can fly itself completely. So calm down, sir. I know I've died, but no reason to lose your eye. Browse. Sorry, sir. Okay, I'm kind of using sim right now to maybe skip the time. Autopilot still handles that very well. Emergency auto land instructions we now have for the passengers. Press and hold the talk button on the center screen to talk to air traffic control. See passenger briefing card for additional in information. This is made for idiots and it's exactly good. Now, this is not realistically simulated. We're supposed to have some sort of an option here. We can talk to air, air traffic control, but it doesn't do that here. And it's in all languages as well. This is an immensely safe airplane, even if you have a Chinese wife. All right, down there is our airport that we're now going to be landing at. Well, our airplane's going to be landing at. All right, now it's starting to descend, as you can see. It's funny because like this is so simplified now. It will not even tell us what it's doing. For pilots, this seems like very basic, but for passengers, this is just the information you need and not more. And I think this airplane has just put out flaps by itself, which probably wouldn't happen in real life. You'd have to, you know, put it down manually. There would probably be an instruction screen for that. Okay, now it is probably going to be turning left or right, whatever it is to, you know, turn around and land at the airport, which is behind it. Okay, now it's turning here. That's great. Look at that. Very nice. And we'll get us nicely set up for an approach. This is absolutely impressive. Vertical track. Okay, vertical track. That means the airplane knows that there's a runway there and it's going to follow that glide slope down to it. Take a look at this. Okay, now it's starting to descend towards the runway. Okay, we now need to, would have to talk to ATC in real life to say, hey, we're coming in, but I'm pretty sure you already know of our arrival. Okay, now I wonder, oh, okay, now it's automatically put down landing gear and flaps. So that, the flight commander does that automatically. And once again, in real life, there would be a screen that shows Please put down the landing gear right there. And this is ever so exciting. We're now coming in for a landing. And I think we're looking quite all right on the glides. Everything is looking, this is looking better than a normal Swiss Air one stream flight. Huh? What's happening? This is an intense ride here. Okay. I wonder how it's going to flare. I'm, I'm probably going to make a hard landing, right? I mean, this is not an Airbus with full auto land. Okay. Landing in zero minutes. Let's take a look at outside view. I mean, we are not needed to ponder this earth. Take a look at how beautiful it's looking on the... Okay, it's a bit left of the center line. Come on, let's do a beautiful landing series jet. Okay, it's reducing power. That's possible due to auto throttle. Yes. What a beautiful landing there. There we go. And it's, I think, stopping by itself as well. It is stopping so passengers can just quickly jump out of the airplane. That is genuinely impressive. Wow. Done. Done. And we can jump out. Done. Now, genuinely, I'm quite impressed with how well the flight simulator does it, but also how well this works probably in real life as well. Now, I don't know how many times this is actually saved an airplane. Likely, the numbers aren't that high, but I'm liking this. Now, I do wonder, I mean, what happens if, for example, there is a big runway closed and the Autoland decides to land on it anyway? Like, what happens then? 
you know, crashing into a construction zone, question mark? Now, that uh, a question I can't answer, but I want to test this auto land a little bit further. Let's turn it on again. And by the way, I found out if you have any trouble turning it on and it says, oh, no airport found. There you go. And it says that you have to just turn off the autopilot. That turns off the auto land and retry quite a lot of times before it's able to actually find an airport. This is, I guess, still a bug. Ah, there you go. Yeah, now it's working. Beautiful. And we're going to be landing somewhere in uh, Florida land. But let, I want to see. I mean, what happens if we, for example, encounter a big storm? I mean, you know, something that is quite revolutionary about this whole system is that this auto land makes decisions. Decisions about where it wants to land. This is not normal for an airplane autopilot. But what happens if it makes, like, poor decisions? Light thunderstorms, we want more. Extreme winds, we want that. Extreme gusts as well. That is the bit, bit dangerous thing here. Look at that wind graph. So really, really bad weather conditions indeed. But our plane is able to fly still and it still wants to land there. Good thing is that in, even in the biggest issues, we could still always pull the parachute. Although the insurance companies won't like that. Okay. Now we are encountering a little bit of a storm. No problem whatsoever. Oh, wow. It's really struggling now. Wow, 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 wow. That is actually pretty crazy. Okay, but all is well now. We're flying down the route as you can see. This is looking, this is looking very promising. Okay. Yeah, it's got vertical track. It's going to be landing itself. We've got, oh my God, that was a lightning strike right next to our airplane. Okay. We're going to be landing soon. The autopilot has not put out the landing gear just yet. Although we're going to be landing like in a second or two. Also, we are quite fast. I'm not liking that. No, no. Okay. Now it's put out flaps and landing gear. Never mind. <laughs> it does that all automatically. Okay, airplane flies nicely. The ocean down there looks like a bit of a mess. Runway's right there. It's to the right of us, but that's fine. We've got quite a lot of crosswind. I w the, in no way the auto land is going to be able to crab the landing to bring us down to the runway. Probably will end up in the grass, which still isn't actually bad. Okay, look at that. Now, runway's right there. Uh, we're a bit left of the center line, I feel like. But I mean, it's not my problem. It's not, it's not my. It's your airplane, Cirrus. It's it's yours. All yours. You can land her now. You can try at least. Huh? I, I think it's gonna be able to safely touch down on the runway, right? There we go. Landing coming up, and it's now gonna pull up for flare. <laughs> Let's be honest. That was not bad. Now it's probably gonna run off the runway and run over a few taxi signs. Or maybe just crash into a hangar. But this is a um, very, very crazy situation. We've got crazy winds going on. All right, the plane is crashing. But that was genuinely impressive still. Let's just ignore that. Oh, yeah, okay. A little, little, uh, uh, serious happens. Uh, but then we yeah. haven't talked about the most extensive safety feature this airplane has, and that's obviously the parachute yet. We might want to hop onto a flight now. Now, I know quite a lot about the Sears parachute now. Let's attempt to take off here. All is good. Let's climb to around uh, 1,000 feet. It's interesting. You really don't need much altitude to actually put out the parachute. 1,000 above ground is definitely enough here. I think the minimum altitude for the Sears vision jet is 1,000 feet. So this is pretty good. Now, we are a little bit fast already. I think the maximum speed is around 150 in this airplane. So let's go ahead and reduce the speed. And oh, no. Wait, hold on. Hold on. We've got a bigger problem even now. Engine stopped running. Oh, my God. Engine failure. No more engine power. We've lost the engine. Huh? Wait, we were... Wait, we were supposed to have lost... Let's turn off... Huh? Our engine is still alive. We are now at proper speed, so it's time to pull the parachute now. And this is actually quite realistically done. You have to, like, push this out and then pull all the way to 100%. You would, in real life, need to pull a lot of force down here. Here. Ah, there we go. Which is quite a lot of pulling you have to do. Yes, yeah, see this? In real life, you have to really pull with a lot of force. Wow, we're upside down now. Gee, oh, wow. Or, oh, uh oh, oh. Hope we're not going to crash into the ground here. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. But it's caught us now, and we're now nicely descending down. In fact, we're almost floating at minus 500 feet per minute. This has gone absolutely well. I think right after you would have to put the landing gear down. And this was actually quite a good caps landing right there. You could see that was pretty hard. Let's be honest, landing with a parachute is not ever smooth. Touching down with a parachute feels like falling down from around four meters so it won't be smooth but you know the serious airplanes they have special seats that are supposed to reduce the impact on your body and so no one has ever died in a parachute deployment scenario in fact it saved a lot of lives north of 170 people including the ceo of walmart so there you go this has worked pretty well i really like the new parachute i know the animation is a little bit goofy but this is a nice way of demonstrating it yes of course it yanks back your airplane but this is why you're supposed to keep 
keep a very low speed, slow speed, and then you land smoothly. Everybody, the safest general aviation airplanes probably made by Cirrus. And if your pilot passes out, you don't even have to have a full loss by turning on auto land. Even though, I mean, the main loss will probably be your pilot. Even though if you're flying a Cirrus jet, you probably have a good, very good life insurance. So wife is happy. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitetsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.